Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 3 of my Killing Floor Class Guide series where I provide basic information and guidelines as to the use of the 6 different classes available in Killing Floor. Just a quick reminder that the Killing Floor Halloween event will last until the 7th of November and that the game and all of its DLC will be available at a discount until then. Today I will be covering the class that provides a very important support role in any squad. The Medic. As you would expect, the Medic gains several bonuses that enhance his ability to keep his teammates in the fight. The Medic has access to special on perk Medic guns, which have a secondary fire ability that shoots a dart, which heals teammates in a similar way to the medical syringe, except at range. The Medic gains bonuses which improve the recharge rate and healing potency of his syringe and his healing darts and also can increase his own survivor survivability through bonuses in combat armor which give him discounts and improve its damage resistance and lost ability. Similar to the Berserker, the med also gains resistance to bloat bile and increased movement speed allowing him to escape from dangerous situations and reach injured teammates quicker. Although unlike the Berserker, the medic keeps this movement speed even if he's not carrying a melee weapon. Medic also gains significant discounts towards his medic guns and increases to their magazine size. The medic has access to special grenades which emit a green gas instead of exploding. This green gas poisons the specimens but heals himself and his teammates. Upon reaching level 5 the medic spawns in the combat wearing body armor and at level 6 spawns in carrying a basic MP7M medic gun. While the medic's main duty is healing, he is by no means a pacifist. He has access to specialised guns which can both shoot bullets and healing darts for his teammates. Starting from the least pricey to the most pricey, there's the MP7M, the MP5M, the M7A3 and the Shkuznikuz, I have no idea but it's just basically the vector. These are pretty ridiculously expensive for non-medics, but medics gain significant discounts which enable them to buy these guns at a pretty reasonable price. And while it's not exactly a weapon, the medic does gain significant bonus bonuses towards armour, so that's being mentioned as well. The medic levels up by healing his teammates with his syringe, his darts and grenades although healing yourself with the syringe doesn't count towards the overall total. I'm going to take a slightly different approach to the one that I took in the previous two guides. I'm now going to start off by explaining the strengths and weaknesses of the class before then moving on to the various tactics that should be used when playing as the medic. So of course the main strength of the medic is his ability to keep his teammates in the fight. With improvements to his recharge speed and healing potency, he'll be able to use his healing equipment far more often. And with just a couple of applications, be able to take a near dead teammate and bring him close to full health. And your healing capabilities are increased dramatically with the ability to fire healing darts on your medical guns. With careful aim you can actually heal a teammate from across the map if you hit them with a dart. And unlike the syringe, you don't need to reload the gun after firing a dart, which means if you can hit the secondary fire key in quick succession and hit a teammate with both darts, you'll cause his health to rocket up to near full capacity in just a couple of seconds. The same goes for your medical grenades. If you can catch your entire team in the blast, you'll be able to heal them all at once and yourself and the gas lingers on the ground for a couple of seconds after detonation so they can always run into the gas if they're outside the radius when it detonates. Your increased movement speed is good for multiple reasons. You'll find it much easier to catch up to your teammates when trying to heal them with a syringe and you'll also find it much easier to escape from large groups of infected given how the medic isn't exactly the best choice for combat with large groups of specimens. You'll also find it much easier to kite which means it is possible to finish the round solo as a medic as you'll find it much easier to outrun the specimens. And a medic gains significant bonuses towards combat armor, to the point where if you're wearing a vest, 
clots and crawlers won't even reach your health when attacking you, and you'll even be able to withstand a beating from a Scrag or a Flesh Pound, where other class such as Commandos and Sharpshooters would suffer under their beatings. One thing to take note of is that your medical syringe and the darts in your medical guns do not share the same charge, which further improves your healing capacity as your medical guns are light enough to the point that you can carry up to three of them. For example, you can use the medical syringe on yourself and then the darts in your guns on your teammates. With three guns and two per teammate, you'll be able to heal yourself and three teammates to near full health, as long as you've got good aim and quick fingers. But now, weaknesses. You knew this was coming. While the medic is very good at healing his teammates and keeping them fighting, his own ability to deal damage is rather lackluster. When it comes to medic guns, he only gains bonuses towards their discounts and magazine sizes, not towards their recoil reduction, overall accuracy or damage. Medic guns are fast firing, high recoil, low damage weapons. While they can hold their own against clots or crawlers or stalkers, they'll barely do anything against scrakes or flesh pounds. So the medic's best bet is to leave it to the other classes to deal with these larger specimens, while they just focus on healing the teammates so they can keep on shooting without having to pull back to heal themselves. One of the medic's biggest bonuses goes towards his armour, to the point where it can last much longer and weak specimens such as clots and crawlers won't even be able to get past it to deal damage, and it can even withstand a strong beating from a scrake or flesh pound. But unfortunately, as this bonus only goes towards the armour, the medic is very vulnerable to even the weakest of specimens once the armour is gone, as his weapons don't deal enough damage to defend himself from large groups or strong specimens. So the medic is going to need a lot of support if he doesn't have any armour. You should also be careful when it comes to reloading. Most medic guns take about 3 or so seconds to fully reload, and while you're reloading, unless you switch to a different weapon, you can't use your healing darts, switch to your syringe, or throw healing grenades, which means that a badly timed reload could cost your teammate his life, since you're unable to heal him during the reload animation. And your healing darts, although incredibly useful, need to be very carefully aimed as they only travel in a straight line and don't home in towards your teammates. And one slight problem with the game is that sometimes it doesn't actually register if a dart has hit its mark, Look for the signs such as a green cloud, a metallic ping, and a notification on the screen to see if the dart has registered, registered properly. If it hasn't, then fire again. So, with all those pros and cons considered, it should be time to give a quick overview on the various strategies and tactics that should be used when playing as a medic. Your main priority should be healing your teammates. Kill specimens attacking you and them as needed, but time your reloads carefully, since you can't use your darts or healing grenades while you're reloading. You're better off defenseless for a couple more seconds than to lose a teammate because of one ill-timed reload. If you're wearing body armour, you can take a few more hits from a specimen attacking you, and if you're not, then you have a stronger potency of your healing syringe, so you can heal yourself more easily if needed. Aside from healing though, a high level medic wearing body armour can also take the role of a slightly less glamorous but still very useful job, that of a damage sponge. A high level medic wearing a full set of body armour can easily take hits from a scrake or flesh pound for some time, taking the pressure off the other classes. For example, if you see a scrake or flesh pound raging and about to target a commando or sharpshooter, you can step in between them and take the hits yourself. You'll be able to both heal yourself and take those hits as long as you're wearing body armour and give the other classes the time they need to perhaps get a better shot on the specimen attacking you and kill it quickly without taking hits themselves. However, do not do this if you don't have body armour or if your body armour is about to break. If you're not wearing armour you have no more defensive bonuses and combine that with your lack of ability to deal damage you're going to die very quickly if you get swarmed by a group or attacked by a big specimen unless you have very good teammates supporting you. Stay at the back and focus on healing and keep away from the specimens unless you're able to kill them. 
The medic guns don't share the same charge and are all fairly lightweight, so you can carry multiple medic guns to further extend your healing capacity. However, doing so leaves you with no spike damage weapons, so it is recommended to perhaps carry an off perk weapon such as the lever action rifle, which is still fairly effective and damaging even when it's not in the hands of a sharpshooter. This is certainly recommended for the later waves where due to the large numbers of specimens, you will need to defend yourself at some point. Also, remember that the medic's healing grenades don't just heal, they damage the specimens. For example, if you get swarmed by a group of weak specimens, you can throw a grenade at your feet as long as there's no siren around to heal yourself and stun the specimens, giving you an opportunity to escape. Moving on from the tactics you can use when you're the medic, these are some ways in which you can help a medic who's on your team. A medic will struggle when dealing with large specimens such as scrakes and flesh pounds. High level medics wearing body armor ca can tank their attacks, but they're going to have significant difficulty in killing them. So if you're a damage dealing class such as a sharpshooter or support specialist, give them support against these big specimens. And the medic specializes in healing so let him do his job. If you're injured and the medic is nearby, he'll no doubt be more than happy to heal you as long as he's actually doing his job as a medic. In fact, you should let him heal everyone unless the team is so critically injured and in dire straits that people need to be healed quickly, in which case you'd, you should step in with a medical syringe to give him a bit of assistance. Remember that medical darts travel in a straight line and therefore can be hard to aim for a moving target. If you're injured and you're not currently being attacked, stand still and call for the medic. You'll, you'll make, find it much easier to hit you with a healing dart. And it's always best to stay in a single group. This is general advice anyway for any killing floor game, but the medic will find it much easier to keep you all healed if he can see where you all are and keep a check on your health bars. So I'd say that's all the basics you need to know about the medic class. I'm just going to go through a quick summary of what we've already gone through and the pros and cons of the perk, and then a few final words. The Medic class, as the name implies, is a healing class focused on keeping his teammates nice and healthy so they can focus more on shooting than of healing themselves with their own syringes. He has access to several different medical guns which further improve his healing capabilities and medical grenades which can heal his teammates in a radius and damage the specimens at the same time. The Medic gains several bonuses to help him with his healing. His healing syringe and darts become far more potent and recharge much more quickly, to the point that his syringe will be ready for a second application before the reload animation even finishes. He gains enhanced movement speed to help him catch up to his teammates quicker for healing and also evade danger and kite the specimens. And his own survivability increases through his body armour, which becomes so effective that even a flesh pound will have to make an effort to break through it allowing the medic to actually absorb the damage and draw the aggro of these specimens, allowing his teammates to take a clearer shot without having these specimens attack them directly. But while the medic is very adept at healing his teammates, his own ability to actually deal damage himself is rather lackluster. His medic guns already have low damage per shot and he receives no bonuses to the damage being dealt by any weapons. Because of this, the medic will have severe difficulty in taking down the bigger specimens and will find it near impossible on the harder difficulties, so he'll need the support of other classes, particularly heavy damage dealing classes, in order to take them down. While he can tank their attacks with body armour, he won't will find it hard to actually kill them before they break through his combat vest. And speaking of combat vests and armour, the medic can take a lot of punishment while he's wearing body armour, but once the armor is gone, the medic can quickly be killed by even the weakest specimens if he's swarmed, since he has no other damage bonuses apart from a defense against bloat bile. And while your medical darts are very useful healing tools, they require pinpoint accuracy in order to be used, so it might be hard to heal a teammate who's currently being attacked as he'll be running and jumping all over the place trying to avoid the hits from the specimens that are attacking him. And of course there is the possibility that hitting a teammate with a dart won't even register due to a slight game problem, which might end up costing them their lives or have you waste another dart trying to actually heal them. 
So I say that's all the basics you need to know about the usage of the medic. A very useful class for any game due to their ability to heal, but of course they'll need support when it comes to actual combat. I sincerely hope that you found this guide useful, enjoyable and informative and all that lovely stuff, and that you'll stick around for the next guide that I make. Remember that you can visit the Killing Floor wiki for more detailed information about the classes, the weapons and the specimens, and everything Killing Floor related. And of course, please be sure to leave some feedback in the comments below about what you thought of this, anything that I can improve, anything that I can do else, what you'd like to see next, everything. So that about wraps it up. Farewell. Well.